a version of this problem appeared on the 1980 PSAT math exam. A tetrahedron and pyramid with equal side lengths are attached on a triangular face. How many faces will the new shape have? A tetrahedron is a shape with four equilateral triangles, and a pyramid has four equilateral triangles on its sides and a square base. The answer choices to this question are 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Give this problem a try, it's trickier than it looks. When you're ready, keep watching the video. Here's how the test makers thought about the question. The tetrahedron has four faces, the pyramid has five. When you glue the two faces together, you lose two faces, so the resulting shape would have four plus five minus two, which is seven faces. And they thought the answer choice was C, seven. But Daniel Lone, a 17 year old, thought this was the incorrect response. He actually thought the question was trickier and he had come up with a different answer. So let's see what happens when we build this question into models. I have built a cardboard cutout of a tetrahedron. I've numbered the sides one, two, three, and four. I've also built this regular pyramid. It has a square base and four triangular sides. So I've numbered the faces one through five. I'm going to imagine attaching these two shapes. I'm going to take the two faces, which are number three, and put them together. So let me orient the faces and let me put these two faces together. When I do that, here's the resulting shape that we're going to count the number of faces. So there's an unusual property of this shape. If you look at the two sides, which are number two from the two different shapes, they actually end up forming one flat surface. So even though they were originally two different faces, they now form one. The same thing happens with the side faces, which are numbered four. They form a completely flat surface. And this is going to affect the number of exposed faces on our resulting solid. So now let's go ahead and try and count the number of faces. I'm going to show you the figure. We have one at the bottom. Here's two, three on the back, side number four, and face number five. So this shape actually has five exposed faces. It's an unusual shape, but there are only five. So when you want to answer this question, you end up, it's a quite a tricky question. You have a very unusual solid that results. The tetrahedron is four, the pyramid is five. When you attach two of the faces, you, get, you remove two faces, but then you also have two of these sides which become coplanar. So that reduces the number of faces by two. So you only end up with five faces, and the correct answer is A. So the new shape actually is the same number of faces as the pyramid. When 17-year-old Daniel Lowen presented this to the test makers, they eventually admitted their mistake, and they said that both 5 and 7 would be correct answers. But the correct answer is 5. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google+, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. This problem appears in my newly revised and expanded book, Math Puzzles Volume 2. Check out that book and all my other books about math and game theory.